What's going on guys, welcome back to yet another video. Apple just dropped what I feel is the most important phone in their lineup so far in 2020. It is also probably one of the most important phones that are gonna drop this year. And not because of the camera quality or because of the display, but because of the price. Now, if you guys are new to the channel, please make sure you guys subscribe. And only if you guys end up liking this video, please make sure you guys destroy that like button for me. Coming in at a starting point of $400, I feel like Apple has finally tapped into that market that Samsung and a lot of other phone manufacturers have been thriving in for what I feel like is the longest time. So what's changed? I know a lot of you guys are thinking, wait a minute, that looks like the old iPhone 8 that I used to have. And you guys are spot on. The new iPhone SE looks exactly like the iPhone 8. Now unboxing this new 2020 iPhone SE did bring a lot of memories back for me from when I first bought my iPhone 8. Now the iPhone 8 launched in 2017, which was only three years ago, but in the tech realm, three years is a very long time. In the box, you get the iPhone SE with a lightning to USB wall charger and a pair of white ear pods. Inside the very familiar shell, there are a few upgrades, which at the end of the day, I feel like are the most important. You get the new A13 Bionic chip and a new camera. The A13 Bionic chip is the fastest processor out of any phone that's out in the market right now, and it's the same chip that you get in the iPhone 11 Pro. So yes, this iPhone is super fast, but in my personal opinion, that's not the most important factor. Now, what is important with this processor is you guys are able to dive into iOS with it and be able to get software updates for many years to come at a price tag of only $400, something that before you could only do with a phone that was double the price. Now, comparing this phone to a lot of Android phones out in the market right now, you usually get about two or three years worth of updates with the Android platform before your phone starts feeling outdated and tapped out, forcing you to buy another Android. So it's not just the $400 you have to pay for the phone, but how soon you have to keep spending $400 to upgrade. You have to ask yourself, what are the essentials when creating a phone like this with this sort of a price tag? One, you have to have a great operating system, which you now get iOS for half the price. And two, you get the A13 Bionic chip, which is super fast and super responsive. Which leaves us with two other important factors, the battery and the camera. Now with the A13 Bionic chip, you figure things would work a lot smoother and tax the battery a lot less. But at the end of the day, you can't help the fact that it's still the same old iPhone 8 battery in the SE. And guys, I'm not complaining or anything. You still get five to six hours of on-screen time with this phone. This phone is gonna be perfect for the majority of the people out there. Just for me personally, I need more battery life because I do a lot of stuff on my phone and I feel like I'm on my phone all day sometimes. So I definitely need that extra battery life like I get with the Samsung Galaxy S20. That battery is absolutely amazing. So hopefully we'll see something like that with the newer iPhone coming out later this year. You'd think at this price tag, you would get a cheap plastic design and that that's where you're wrong. The build quality is rock solid and feels fantastic. Holding it in my hand at times, it feels just as good as the iPhone 11. The bezels don't seem to bother me as much, and the 4.7 inch LCD display with True Tone is just as good as ever. The back of the phone is now glass and supports wireless charging, as well as being IP67 water resistant. The more and more I review the phone, the more and more I can appreciate how special the price tag of $400 is. With this new iPhone SE, you get three colorways, red, black, and white. As you guys see in this video, I went with the black version. The phone's weight comes in at just under 150 grams and uses the same lightning connector for power. Hopefully Apple will start introducing USB Type-C later on this year. For storage, the base model now comes with 64 gigabytes with the option to upgrade to either 128 or 256 gigabytes. You get the same fingerprint scanner through the home button and no headphone jack, which at this day and age on a phone for me is a necessary thanks to wireless headphones. The only difference between the iPhone SE and the iPhone 8 is the Apple logo is now centered on the back of the phone to match the current gen iPhone models. It gets even better guys. Next up, let's get into the cameras. On the back, you get a 12 megapixel camera and on the front, you get a seven megapixel selfie camera. The camera takes awesome color accurate sharp photos. Here I took a few photos with it alongside my iPhone 11 Pro and in some instances couldn't tell the difference between the two. Comparing the phones, however, in low light is where things get a little bit harsh for the iPhone SE. The lack of night mode on the iPhone SE makes photos look noisy and grainy, which again, I'll overlook because of the price tag. Before you guys start comparing low light photos in this iPhone SE, I would like to mention that the 4K video on this phone absolutely destroys any and all the competition in its price range and even phones that are a couple hundred dollars above it. You can go 4K up to 60 FPS that is stabilized both optically and with its software. The 4K files are pretty big, so I definitely would recommend spending the extra $50 and upgrade to the 128 gigabyte version. Now guys, I've been using this iPhone SE as my daily driver for the past couple of days now. And aside from low light photography, I really can't see too much this phone can't do when comparing it to the iPhone 11 Pro and the Samsung Galaxy S20 Ultra at half the price. Now, if you guys do wanna purchase this iPhone SE and support the channel at the same time with no extra cost to you guys, I will leave Amazon affiliate links down below in the description for you. Overall guys, I am super impressed with the new 2020 iPhone SE. And for all the right reasons, Apple has successfully yet again found a way to expand their ecosystem and I'm glad to be a part of it. 
Thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.